back at the beetle today and uh, as you can see a little meltdown in the fuse box I guess it's a pretty common problem I've seen a lot of videos and information on it basically it's this wire coming from the alternator that hooks in here and it just melted a hole right through the box so I got a new uh, fuse box hooked it up and uh, this wire is just it's still like getting like blazing hot coming off the alternator <clears throat> and it's pretty much uh, a resistance problem I'm thinking because it's rated here and these connectors aren't very good this is the other main wire I guess that goes into through the firewall into the, the cabin inside but I mean all these wires are pretty much uh, the same kind of thing where uh, it doesn't look like they're very good connect got very good connections so what I did I got a set of uh, copper wire lugs let the heat shrink so I'm gonna replace these I'm gonna strip these back a little bit this wire here actually ordered a new wire that's all sealed in both ends so we shouldn't have any problem and it's a little bit bigger gauge I'm pretty sure this is a, a six gauge and the one that I ordered is a four and I got a four foot cable I'm just gonna sneak it around down through here and then it connects in uh, connects in right there to the alternator that's my solution so right now basically I'm just gonna unhook all this and uh, start stripping these wires back okay so I got the <clears throat> first one stripped back I just gotta put a Put a little lug on it and we'll crimp that up and then we'll put some heat wrap shrink wrap on it and that one will be ready okay I got all these changed now I got the shrink wrap on them I got the new washers and the new uh, nuts on them and this is the old line here for the uh, that goes to the alternator instead of just pulling it all the way out and everything I'm just gonna do some sh heat shrink wrap on it and leave it in place Okay, the next thing we gotta do, I took the shroud off so I have a little more room here. This is the, the nut that's holding the uh, line to the, from the alternator over to the fuse box. So we just need a little ratchet action here. So yeah, there's other, there's other wires uh, kind of bundled in together. This is the wire we want to replace. This is the wire here we want to replace, but like the wires coming off this switch here. There's another one. There's another switch down here. It looks like they're just all like wrapped together. And so my, my plan is still gonna stay the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna just replace. I'm just gonna leave this here, tie it up somewhere so it's out of the way, and just replace replace it with a bigger gauge better cable <clears throat> and I'm just gonna come across I'm just gonna come across this here and kind of go down here and wrap it around up here and come out instead of trying to go in and take ever take that old one out uh, 
Just gonna leave it in there. Just tuck it out of the way. Out of sight, out of mind. That. Okay, I got the new cable. Nice and good connections on it. <clears throat> so basically, I'm gonna connect it to the alternator. Snake it around here with some zip ties, tie it up to some stuff, and then connect it to the uh, fuse box. Okay, I got <clears throat> I got this heat shrink on this, the old one. <clears throat> I got the new line hooked up on this side, and I got it uh, zip tied in a couple spots around, and it's coming out now towards the box. I think I'm going to replace the lug on this end because it's a little too big. I don't think there's enough contact there. So I'm going to, I'm just going to trim it. I'm going to cut the wire right here, trim it back and then I'll put one of my copper lugs on it and then heat shrink it and I think that'll, that'll work better. All right. That's in there. That's a nice, good, solid contact. Let's give it one of these. Let's get some heat. I'm gonna put another one on it and just be double sure. It's got good protection. Don't want any moisture getting in and spoiling all this hard work we did. Okay, got this all wrapped up. <clears throat> I had to do a little trimming here on the box to make sure it's going to close on both sides, with, just with my my razor knife. Just cut the plastic back a little bit. This is ready to connect in here. Fits in there nice and tight. Using the new washer and, and nuts. Tighten it down, but not torquing it down too hard, you know. This should be all ready here. Let's see if we can get this to close. Tight, it's, but it closes up good. So now, the last thing we gotta do is hook this up. I got it started, everything seems fine. It's it's nice and cool to the touch, not warming up at all. One thing I do want to check is to make sure that it's charging.
Yeah, 14.4546. Uh, so it's charging up. That's still nice and cool. Before that was like, I couldn't even barely touch it. It was, <clears throat> I had measured it with just like a thermometer I had inside just like to the touch and it was over 200 degrees. That happens you get stuff like this happening so we don't want this to happen anymore make sure you keep this old stuff because it still has the fuses the old fuses inside you know just in case you might need one later on and it's got some fuses here too so you know just throw this in your in your uh, automotive parts box that you keep for all your stuff, you know. I keep mine in my uh, my toolbox for all my electrical stuff. Let's check this. It's still super cool. Well, before I could not touch. I could not even touch this. This wire was hot too before. So basically, I, I changed out all the lugs, got a new fuse box, used all the new uh, nuts and washers, and uh, I got a new uh, battery cable, 4 gauge, it's a little bit bigger than the, this is the old one, see it's a little bit bigger, and it all seems to be working good.